Okay, this is called the kinetic theory of gas equation. And the first step is to draw a cube just like this and label it LX, LY, and LZ. Those are the lengths. Okay, then you draw a particle on the left hand side and it's going in the x direction. It's going to have a speed of ux and it's going to bounce off the wall. So it's got a momentum of mux and it's going to bounce off the wall elastically. So it's going to come back with a speed of minus mux. So momentum of minus mux. So the force on the wall when this collision occurs is going to be the change in momentum divided by the time taken, so the rate of change in momentum. Now, the change in momentum in an elastic collision like this is going to be 2mux. It should be minus 2mux, but I'm just going to ignore the negative signs for now. The time it takes, so um, instead of using the time it takes for the actual collision of the wall, I'm going to use the time it takes between the collisions. So, and so I'm going to take the time it takes to travel this length and back. So it's going to be travel a length of 2lx, and if I divide that by the speed, ux, I get the time. So I'm going to put this into that equation. So I get 2mux divided by 2lx over ux. Now because I'm dividing by a fraction, I flip it over and I multiply. So I this simplifies to, uh, the 2's cancel out firstly. This simplifies to mux squared over lx. Now, because I want the pressure, pressure is going to be force over area. Now, the area this is colliding with is this whole side here. And the, you can see the area of that is going to be, so I just put the force in there, mux squared over lx. The area, I'm going to divide it by there, is going to be ly times lz. As you can see, this whole thing underneath, that's the volume. So I can write this, simplify as as, as mux squared over the volume. Okay, now but firstly, I need to write a subscript 1 here because this is the pressure due to one particle. There's going to be n particles in this, so I'm going to multiply this whole thing by n to get the pressure from all the particles inside the container. So I will get pressure is equal to n m ux squared over v. Secondly, the particle could be going in any direction because the motion is random. So the, we should be using the CRMS speed. And CRMS speed is going to be like ux squared, the speed in the x direction, plus the uy squared, plus uz squared. I like to think this is as Pythagoras in 3D. Um, yeah, because the particle could be going in any direction. And to be honest, it's equal like to go in any direction. So ux will equal ui and it will equal uz so this whole thing can simplify down to 3 ux squared because you're basically adding to the same thing to together three times so crms squared equals that so i'm going to make uh, ux this ux squared the subject so ux squared is equal to crms squared over 3 and i'm going to put it back into this equation here so get P is equal to N, M, instead of UX, I write C, RMS squared over 3, and that whole thing divided by V. And this simplifies to the equation that we've been trying to derive. So PV equals N, a, th a third, N, M, C, RMS squared.